Might be wrong. Or well, maybe there yeah, you can do that in the end.
cream but she was quite a lot more fast and she like that. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
Enthusiast, but um, more of a travel the type of person who happens to be doing urban planning at Union as a result is enthusiastic about public transport, the technical details, etc. Oh, nice! <laughs> so, I guess you're always up to date with the bus times and that. Yes, that's pretty cool. I actually came all the way from West Sussex. Oh, nice! That's you Sorry, Gabriel, what's yours? Jordan, nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> um, got um, yes, I do. Also, I hope you don't mind, but um, our voices will be heard when this video gets uploaded. Oh, no, no, of course not. Okay. They'll, it'll be uploaded in two different types. One's in time lapse and in 10 speed, and the other one's in standard version. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> it's, up, it's up to you whichever you prefer to you. Like, if you have all the time you want to watch it at a normal pace, then you have the normal speed. To be fair, time lapse is pretty cool. Oh, I agree. That's why. That, that's why I thought I'd do them as well. Plus you have all, all that great music. True. Yeah. So, where about you, Exeter? Uh, well, I'm currently based in Torquay, but I was in Exmouth, so... Oh, oh I went to Torquay today. It's so nice. It is, isn't it? I, although, the favourite place, my favourite place today that I visited was Brixham, without a doubt. Oh, uh, yeah. Never been Brixham properly. I'll have oh, to right. look around. <laughs> yeah, you should. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a... It's the most interesting, as in like half an hour and an hour you've seen everything, but it still works, still absolutely works so, The reason why it's my favourite is more because of all the beautiful homes and all the lovely historic buildings. Okay, I'll give it a quick look. Yeah. I bet it looks pretty cool down there. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I came, I'm here as a day trip, but I came from all the way from near London. Wow. <laughs> Woke up to about five in the morning to, to be able to do this. Nice. So I guess you're going back home tonight then to uh Yes, Sussex. I'm getting I'm getting the train at 7.25 from Exeter Central, well half past seven. Ah nice, you're on your way to Exeter then. Yes. That's pretty cool. So I'm, 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 I get the slow, you know the South Western Railway? Oh yeah. In London, I'm, I, get, I get that one. It's more convenient for me, plus it's cheaper as well. Yeah, I can imagine. Editing on that anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I always edit my videos before uploading. Yeah, yeah, of course, you've got to yeah. get some more views then. Yeah, exactly. Plus, there's no point in filming when, when, every, when everything stopped. No, not unless something interesting happens. True. <laughs> also today, I walked from Dawlish all the way oh, yeah. to Tamworth. That was a good, good walk. How long was that? Took about an hour. I went. I went by the coastal path. Oh, that is. You know what's so in interesting about the coastal path? Yeah, the railway line running alongside it. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Especially, that. especially both around Dawlish and Taylor. Oh. So, do you attend uni or something? Uh, college. Oh, oh, nice. Um, I've just finished my second year of uni, I'll, I'll be in my final third year next year. Oh nice, is it difficult? No, my, no. my course is really easy, plus I enjoy doing the subject. Oh nice, what course are you doing? Urban Planning and Development at Oxford oh, yeah. Brookes University. Cool. So is that similar to architecture sort of thing? Yeah, it's based on architecture. Cool. I thought it might have been, but I didn't want to jump to conclusions. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I can understand that. That Exeter, no, wait, I think that would be Exmouth, I think. 
that town. Don't think that's like that. Mm. So I've got to get the bus at Exeter to go to Exeter. Yes. Although I think I think there is a ferry from here to Exeter. Yeah, at the Exeter, the Exeter, the Exeter without a doubt. Can't be top two because that's in the middle. Yeah. Last not to mention that it affects the end, so it has to be Exeter. I know there's a yellow crane somewhere at Exeter. It's just spotting it is the fun part. There should be like a yellow crane about yay high in the distance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seen it on the train, but it'll be Fair. somewhere across there. Fair enough. <laughs> That's pretty. So once you finish college, are you thinking of, of applying to uni? Definitely, yeah. Uh, where about you think you're studying? Uh, Plymouth, probably, because I'm based down there. <laughs> So, I mean, it waiting makes, for many flat. It, it, make, it makes sense if you want to be as close as possible. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I was hoping you, you would you'd come to Oxford Brooks though, so we could socialise more. Well, I'll um, definitely add you on Facebook and I'll probably come visit sometime. Yeah, sounds good. I've always wanted to go to London and all that. Fair enough. So. Understandably though, Ox Oxford, although then again, I, I say in serious accommodation, Oxford might be really far from you. No. I'll figure it out. I've done worse. Ah, oh, fair. It's quite a good, good, good route. It's yeah. got re I'm glad I'm filming it because it's got so much good scenery. I'd say the fa my favourite part of the route is probably from Nokin Staten. I think so. Is that past the golf course? Just a bit further there? No, no, it's the next to Beaton Abbott. Oh, yeah. So I'd say from King Staten to Dawlish Attainment is probably the best part of the route. Yeah. So you've got the best views. Although this isn't too bad. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's actually quite good. So, let me guess, I think this should be um, Exminster, I think. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, obviously uh, when we get to Exeter, uh, add me on Facebook and I'll accept. Sounds good. Or, although I'm not that active on, on Facebook, so do you look instead, do you have Snapchat or Instagram? Yeah, I've got Snap. Okay. Instagram? Uh, don't use Insta, really. Oh, fairs. <laughs> I don't know many people who do. Ah, oh, fair, fair enough. I only got it because it's part of Facebook. I mean, a lot of people at my, my uni use Instagram mostly for posting photos, selfies or yeah. when going night out. I think that's mainly what Insta is really used for as well as Snapchat really. Yeah. Snapchat is what is our main form of communication, although some yeah. of us do sometimes use Instagram or even WhatsApp. WhatsApp's quite good, but I don't like the fact that you have to give out your phone number just for people mm. to have your WhatsApp. Yeah, that is a good point, actually. I just although, think it's a major downfall. Mm, although, it does have the advantage that when, say, you have no internet connection and you, have, and you want to call a friend, yeah. then having a phone number can be useful in these situations. Can be. Especially if you save them on WhatsApp, you can just copy and paste their number. Alright. <laughs> Ooh. I'd hate to be in the insurance company for these yeah. buses. Yeah. I haven't really seen any many buses really break down recently. No, no, no. I know that they were breaking down quite a lot a couple of years ago. Mm. Has, years. has maintenance maybe been through that stagecoach southwest or something? Mm. Maybe must must also be the time for the bus to be honest. Maybe I, I mean, know that the older time, ones don't break down as often as the newer ones. Yeah, these type of buses also don't seem to break down that much. Yeah, they're kind of solid. Yeah. Minus all their rattly parts. Oh yes. That's just the problem with, with the with the build quality. Yeah. Because mm. they just build them cheap for public transport. Yes. They're not expecting them to last. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Although some of them do. Mm. This is actually one of one of the few good newer buses that actually exist on the market. Yeah. There are, there are some that like are absolutely unreliable, and they're actually all built in North Northern Ireland from a company called Drive Bus, and oh, yeah. they produce the so-called street deck for street bikes, which are known for being absolutely un unreliable, and they can't they struggle at hills. Yeah. And they are known, very often known for breaking down as well. 
This are those the single deck ones? Street Life is a single decker, Street Deck is the double decker. Oh, yeah. um, this one here, this is a this one's also built in a British company but not in Northern Ireland. It's built somewhere, um, let me try and remember. Um, but the body the bodywork is built in um, either Yorkshire or Scotland from a company called Alexander Dennis. Whilst yeah. the the mechanic the engine and mechanical parts are from a Swedish truck company you might have heard of called Scania. Uh, I think I've heard of them. Yeah. They're quite good actually. Yeah. They're quite heavy duty. No no one no wonder why Scania's are, are that good. Yeah. I know that the Plymouth buses break down a lot. Do they? Yeah, the Plymouth City buses. I mean absolute trash. Fun, fun fact, I will actually be doing a, a trip to Plymouth sometime at the beginning of July. Oh nice, well um, I might I'm, see you around there. Sounds good, I've never been to Plymouth before so I am looking forward to doing so. Yeah definitely, message me when you're thinking of doing yeah, it and I'll make good. sure I'm around. Sounds good. It'd be nice to meet up. Yeah that'd be nice. And then I'm also doing two trips to North Devon. Oh, First yeah. one will be you know, Linton, Ilford Plum. Oh yeah, Ilford Plum, yeah I know yeah, that is. The first trip will be to Linton and Ilfracoon and Barthacle. Then the second one I'm going to places like Bideford, Westerfield and Appledore. Nice. You should go down Cornwall sometime. Cornwall's got quite a nice... I've been to Cornwall back in 2020 and it was beautiful. Yeah, The only problem really is that, unless if I want to do an overnight National Express code from where I live, I have to spend the night there in Cornwall because uh, it's too, yeah. too far away. Devon is literally the furthest I could I could do as a day trip from where, where I am yeah. without having to get an overnight coach. Of course. Oh, and then I'm also, also this summer I'm also thinking of doing the Dartmoor Explorer bus. Have you ever been on the Dartmoor Explorer? Oh, it goes from, Ex well last year it went from Exeter to Tavistock mm -hmm. and went by the Dartmoor National Park. Oh yeah. Which, which I've heard is supposed to be beautiful. Well, give me a message when you're thinking of doing that. It'd be yeah, nice that, to have a bug yeah, to Yeah, that would, sounds good. Yeah, definitely. Also, the one one day, if you did um, open up on YouTube, I'll give you a shout out when I upload this video. Oh, brilliant. So, I have um, got YouTube, I just don't post it. Uh, yep. I think uh, I've done one post back when I was in school. Fair enough. <laughs> just to see how good the computers were. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> So you're thinking of, of being some sort of computer science student when you go to Plymouth Uni? I don't know. I'm having to think because I've because I am gonna do a access to higher education course in college. All oh, right. Um, for music production. Oh, fair enough. Another one. So. Well, that sounds fun. It should give me enough UCAS points yeah. to go to uni. I mean, I did I did start on on, on foundation because yeah. um, Unfortunately, um, I didn't. And pass some some of the GCSEs. Yeah. But to be honest, I'm actually doing the foundation was the best thing I could have done because I'm now so experienced at dealing with uni work. It's hard to begin with, but then once you get used to it and you know what to do, then it becomes really yeah. easy. Yeah. It's basically just recapping with a few additional bits. Yes, exactly. So where are we now? It's still Exminster, or we're getting into Exeter City now? Cool. I think we are at. I would say Kenton, but that's just a hint. Actually, I think we could be in Powderham. Maybe, yeah, actually, Powderham. I, I don't. I'm not 100% sure. Alright. Might be Powderham Village. Yeah, that might be Powderham Village. One way to find out is look for the names. Oh yes, I always pay attention to that. Of all the pubs, because normally they'll have something in common on the, one of the sides. Nothing yet. And 
guess this is good Winton, maybe. Oh yes, I actually forgot that there is also a place called Good Winton. Yeah, we might be there. I do have a feeling we must be getting very close to Exeter now, as it's half past six and we're supposed to be there in about 25 minutes. Yeah, I've got a feeling that we're quite close as well. I think you're right. We've got to Cornwall, I've been to Pen Penzance. Oh yeah. St. Ives, um, Lansden and the coast around there. Yeah. We've been to Lizard, Truro, Farmer and nice places with good scenery. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Yeah. I used to get my BMX done in uh, Truro. Sorry? I used to get my BMX fixed by Halfords in Truro. Oh, right. I'm, op I'm hoping to do a trip to, to places like Canute Padstow as well. Yeah, I've been Padstow. Padstow's definitely worth it, and so is New Quay. Oh, nice. Yeah. I've New Quay is surfer's paradise, basically. Yeah, it is. Oh my god, if you saw the beaches. Yeah. I destroyed my BMX in New Quay. Did you? I rode it into the sea. Really? For a lap, yeah. Wow. It survived. Yeah. It still has. And would I be writing thinking about in Devon? Uh, Woolacan is the. Uh, Devon equivalent of UK to an extent, minus the fact that it's a smaller place. Big Breeze is pretty good. I don't know, I've heard Wollacombe, which is just right next to Ilfracombe, but also supposed yeah. to be surface paradise in there. Well, there's definitely a few places that I do want to try. Yeah. Although I've been everywhere basically in Devon and Cornwall, apart from this mini road. I mean, you, you, live, you live in South West England. So yeah, so wouldn't be crazy to try and venture outside yeah. of it for a bit. Have you, have you ever been abroad to other countries? Uh, yeah, I've been to a few places, many of the Turkey, Paris. Oh, nice. Do you, do you know that I'm actually half Italian, by the way? Oh, nice. Yes, I'm, I'm, from, I'm from Naples. Cool. <laughs> On my Italian side of, of my heritage. So, um, I've been, been to various places. Like France, Germany, Netherlands, Spain, Italy. I don't really count. I don't count Italy because it's my other country. Well, I'm a quarter American if that helps. Oh, you, oh, you're American as well. Yeah, nice. quarter. Well, roughly. Whereabouts in America are you from? Uh, that part I don't actually know. Oh right. I don't actually. Uh, I haven't read into it that much, but I do want to read into it. Fair enough. Interesting. But I think America is just America, really. Yeah. But I mean, I've got to admit, I do love the American style, like the American clothes, the plastic jackets. Just I mean, everything about it, like the scenery. The, the, the thing I did love about America is how big their homes are. Yeah, they're absolutely massive, and they have aircon. I mean, in parts of America, that is actually a necessity because it gets much hotter than it does here in England. Yeah, and I imagine the amount of heat strokes go way up. Again. Parts of America, especially such as California, Arizona, yeah. Nevada, um, New Mexico, etc., get so hot that aircon becomes essential. Definitely. Although I do want to drive along Route 66 when I get a car. Oh, I would, I would love to start, that start would driving at, at some point as well. That would be so much fun. The thing is, I'd literally put my foot to the floor um, on Route 66 because there's no drivers really. I can imagine. On on those desert roads where it's just desert oh, on yeah. the side, I just want to belt it across the street. I can imagine. Do a few do a few loops on the dirt track. Yeah. <laughs> and then just drive off again. Yeah. As long as my car doesn't run out of fuel or aircon, I'll be fine. Yeah. I wonder what happens if you run out of fuel on Route 66. Oh my god, that is actually an, an, an interesting question I've always thought of. Yeah. I mean, you'd hope that there's a petrol station some, somewhere nearby, but in, in, in the or, of or a rural, local hill spot, yeah, yeah. hopefully. Never with that rural, unfortunately. Yeah. It's going to be hard. Oh, so that's actually yeah. excellent stuff. Oh, so we must be really close now. Yes. So it's like the place I must have been either good it's an old Marsh Barton or something. Yeah. I think it might have been Goodrington. Yeah, Goodrington would probably make sense. Is that the one that I said or did Yeah, you yeah, that's that? one one you suggested. I was suggesting X Midster or Powderham. Yeah, Powderham. Powderham. Didn't I swear Powderham was a castle though. Yeah it does. I didn't see a castle, so 
Probably because I think it's hard to see and I think it's off the main road. Maybe, yeah. I have a question. You know Todd's Nest and um, Falcom and the area around there, Kingsbridge, Dartmouth, etc. Are they yeah. worth visiting? Um, depends on where you're looking at. Hmm. There's quite a few places that are worth visiting. I'd, I'd literally suggest to check out the whole southwest. There's so many places where you're probably missing. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard Top Ness is supposed to be beautiful. Salcom as, well, as, yeah. as well also supposed to have a nice beach. Jenny Cliff is nice. Jenny Cliff. Yeah, um, in Plymouth. Jenny Cliff Beach, Wembury Beach. I know, I know, I know Wembury, that, that's just out of Plymouth on the way towards Kingsbridge. Yeah, that Batman. sort of way. Um, where else? Mount Edgecombe, that's an amazing place. Mount Edgecombe, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's... Um, In the Cornish side, but you can get the... Oh yes, I remember. You can get the Cremel Ferry from Plymouth to Mount Edgecombe. There's also a bus route 78, and 70 yeah, that's the one. To Cremel, but they don't it's fun to go when it's stormy weather, because yeah. it looks like the bus might blow over the cliff yeah. when it doesn't. It's just really freaky when you're sat yeah. on that side and it, you're right next to the cliff and it's yeah. just swaying. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Mm. The southwest is just so beautiful. Yeah, definitely. I would say the only place that I wasn't the most keen on um, and I, I, I hope I hope that is not the case but that's just based on, on the few I've seen from the bus okay the, the few two places I'm keen on are Paynton and Newton Abbott hmm. no I kind of agree though Newton Abbott is a bit plain like in the town centre especially yeah mm. Paynton is good when you get to the beach all right Oh, because I only went through it on the number 12 bus and we only went to the bus station. Yeah, the bus station's a bit... Uh, yeah, I agree. It just looks a bit run down to me. Yeah. That's good that painting isn't, isn't actually... Well, that isn't representative of most of, of painting. But yeah, if you do ever go down with him, I can always show you around. Yeah, There's sounds so good. so many good places. Yeah, sounds good. I'm thinking of also build, filming the number 25 34 and 59 buses. 25 because it uh, it goes around the hill. Yes. 34 job, because yeah. it, it goes via, a, I can't, can't remember what, I think it's Devonport, which is. A, yeah, it goes through Milby and Devonport. Yeah, the load, load of 34 goes through some nice parts as well. And the 59 because it go, it, it's rural. Um, Where does the 59 go again? It's. Um, no George Park and Ride. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Near the the mums, hospital. Yeah. So it's basically it's that to city centre ride a long way around. So it goes through through some rural hills, then to Plimpton yeah. or Plimstock, I can't remember which of the two, probably Plimpton. And then it ends in uh, and then I think it's Lara and then City Centre. Just trying to think of another one you might like. Mm. There's so many that I think you'd like in Plymouth. All oh, right. There are so many bits. I do appreciate your your advice. No, it's cool, it's cool. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Also got, I also want to do the 12 as well. That goes all the way up to Bood. Oh yeah, the 12 is amazing. Honestly, yeah. try the 12. Yeah. And also the other one I would try is the 11. Um, that goes to Bodmin. Uh, oh yes, uh, Plymouth, that's though via Bod Bodmin yeah. and Wade Bridge. No, I know the 11. Yeah, definitely. Well, if you ride a bike or anything, I recommend the Camel Trail from Weybridge to Padstow. Oh, why is it nice around there? Yeah, you get some amazing views on the Camel Trail. Wow, that's nice. It's a four mile trip, but they do ice cream, fudge, boat rides a lot in Padstow. Like, there's so many things you can do. Yeah, well, I Fish want... Fish and chips are good down I want to go to Padstow at some point. Yeah, definitely. Tags. All right. Yeah, potentially. And I'm trying to think. Oh, I, I, I think I know why you're suggesting the two as well. Um, Mountbatten. Oh yes, that one. Yes. Yeah. Is it the two and two A? Think Mum. Okay, so it used to be two and two. Well, it both went to South Class, but then you had I think the two that went to Sherford and then the two A to Mountbatten. Oh yeah. Now Sherford is 
golden X38. And yeah, they've changed it up, haven't they? Yes. But yeah, I recommend the Mountbatten one and the Sherford one. Sherford's quite a nice yeah, town, it looks really modern. Talk of X38, I'm, I'm also thinking of doing that as well. It goes, it goes from Plymouth to Exeter via all these nice lovely places like yeah. Ashburton, Buck, Buckfastly, South, South Brent. And if you're ever looking to have a day out, I recommend River Dark Country Park. Is it, isn't, isn't that in the Dartmouth, I think? It's just off Ashburton somewhere. Wow, that's, that sounds awesome. But yeah, there's it's so, pretty so, awesome. There's so much to see in the southwest that I'm missing out. Yeah, and the woods are really nice over there as well. Yeah. And they've got like slides of like lakes, everything. Yeah. Like, honestly, when you come down Plymouth, we'll get the bus there one day and I'll literally show you yeah, around the dark. Sounds good. Do better, do better I'm not my... sure if there's an entry for you, but if we keep mm. some money back, we can always go there. Yeah, that sounds good by me. So I think I think that X-Men's done. Looks like we are coming into Exeter City. I think we are. Probably. Would it be surprised if that that was the M5, or at least the beginning of it? Yeah, I'm not sure where the M5 starts. Suppose it starts in Exeter. I know that, and it goes all the way up to Birmingham. Yeah, so I think this is the very last bit of the A38. Yes. This is probably where the impact starts, actually. Yeah. It's probably correct. I know, I know at some point there's also a turning for the A30, which yeah. is basically the, the, the quicker Cornwall way, avoiding Plymouth. Yeah, we ain't far now. Yes. Normally when you get the signs without the mileage, you're pretty close to your destination. Yes, exactly. For car drivers anyway. Yeah, exactly. All too useful when you're on the bus and, yeah. and you want to know when, when, what time you want to get there. Yeah. Just a tad useful. Sorry? Just a tad useful. Yeah, oh, exactly. there's a couple of other places I recommend as well. Pose F in Cornwall. Pose F, I've heard. Yeah. I also want to go to Tintagel. Like, which is near Pulse. Okay, that's quite good. Also, check out Lid. Lid? Lid. L-A-L-E. Oh, oh, Lid. Oh, it's in Cornwall, yeah. Yeah, I, I know where it is. It's uh, yeah. near a place, place called Port Pedro. Oh, yeah, yeah, Port Pedro, uh, yeah. It's near there. Which is what Port Pedro is supposed to be nice. Yeah. See, that's the, be that's the beauty of Cornwall and also Devon. But like, even the small seaside villages can be lovely. Yeah, I guess it is kind of the. Uh, Upside to it. Yeah. Also check out Beer Alston. If you walk down the farmyard, you can get to right down where the train station bridge is. Also check out St Germans because you can walk right down to the river. Nice one. Perfect place well, to pick. What's that place before St Germans? You said Beer Alston, I think. Oh yeah, that's the one. Mm, hang on. Can't, don't think I've heard of Beer Alston. Strangely. No, it's like uh, about 10, 15 miles away from Tavistock. Oh, I see now. So it's not too far. It's right in the middle oh, of Dartmoor. Yeah. Oh, Yelverton. Yelverton, yeah, I, it's I in that sort of county. I know, I know there's also Postbridge as well, more hands instead. Yeah, there are so many cool sites to see in Devon. It's yeah. almost hard to see them all unless you live around here. Yeah, exactly. Because you're always going to forget that one. Yeah, exactly. Ugh, I hate that part. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine? Have you ever been up to Somerset? Uh, yeah, I have. Taunton? Taunton, Taunton. Minehead. Taunton's nice, so Minehead, Taunton. Butlins, quite, Minehead. Minehead, Taunton's quite nice. I like Butlins up there, it's my favourite part of my head. Yeah. Screw the rest of it. <laughs> nah, actually, it's quite nice at my head. Yeah. I wouldn't miss it. The 28th route is good. That goes, that goes taunt into my head, that's quite quite good. Yeah. Although the Exmoor Coast is like, even better. If you're lucky, on a nice sunny day like today, you get to see South Wales as well. Oh yeah, you can see that from... Yeah. You can, you can see you places can see like, it from my head as well, Yeah, apparently. you can see Cardiff. Bridge End, Port Talbot End. I think you might even be able to see Swansea as well, but I'm not too sure. They don't recommend you. They don't recommend you trying to get there by boat though from Minehead because the tide is really rough. So is that the reason why there is no ferry between North Devon and 
South Wales? I believe so, yes. But there have been people who have attempted it. Yeah, I've heard about that. I do want to attempt it and succeed though. Mm -hmm. It's one of my missions. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, it'd be a useful link though. But if I do that, I want to somehow get a car onto the boat as well. Yeah, it's going to make it really exactly. difficult. I mean, it'd be a useful link to be honest. It's considering yeah. that at the moment you have to go, or you have to do a massive long way motion by Bristol to go from Devon to South Wales. I'd love to power. A, I'd love to power a boat through like um, a car. So like you would drive onto like the boat, and then you would drive onto this treadmill that would propel the propeller. That 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 does sound so much fun. Mind it you. does, doesn't yeah. it? Because you'd be driving the car, but you'd realistically yeah, exactly. be driving the boat because the car wouldn't move. Yeah, exactly. I think that would be pretty awesome. Yeah. How it would work would be a different story. Yeah, true. Uh, definitely something that I've used. Also, thank you so much for all the all, all the recommendations for the Southwest Festival. Uh, not not just for me, but my YouTube subscribers and viewers would also love love to hear your advice as well. Oh yeah, yeah, it's from, cool, from it's the cool. normal speed video. In fact, I will put in the description um, a minute to also listen to my friend who gives recommendations for best places to visit um, around Devon and Cornwall. Yeah, I've got way more recommendations than that. Yeah. But Oh, obviously, yeah. Uh, add me on Snap, I accept, and then I'll give you my YouTube channel details on that. Yeah, sounds good. Even though uh, I've never added people on YouTube before, yeah. so that's going to be a challenge for me. So, what, um, you, I would be the first channel you're subscribing to, is that what you're saying? Uh, I've subscribed to quite a few channels, I just don't know if you can add each other's friends. YouTube, um, I don't know if you, that's can add, you can add the, the channels who you like the most or who are your close friends or something. Yeah, there must be a way around it. We'll yeah. figure it out. Can't be that hard. Yeah. How many subscribers you got? Quite a few? Um, 465. Oh, that ain't too bad at all. Yeah, I mean, I, I started in 2019, so that will be a good four years ago, almost. Ah, nice. Also, have you done the 57? Is that, is that a good route? 57? Well, which just, it just went past. It, it's the one that goes to uh, Exeter from Exeter. Oh yeah, that's the one I'm supposed to be getting. Wait, you, so you're getting that one next? Yeah. That's the one I'm getting next. Alright. <laughs> I also know there's a 157 that goes from Exeter to Sidmouth via a town called Budley Salterton. Oh uh, yeah. Is that nice? Around, is it nice around there? Uh, I believe so because it goes near, like around and into the coast I believe but don't quote me on that. I've done the 9A once too and that goes... Worth a try. Yeah 9A, 9A was definitely good because mm. when I did it it used to start in Lime Rouge but now it starts in Seaton. Yeah. And I went, Seaton I wasn't too keen on but um, Sidmouth that was good. Not long now. Yeah, getting very close now. Quite close. Yeah. I do love Exeter, it's a good city, it's a great city. Yeah, it's definitely. Oh, and I swear I've met you before. You've just got one of those places that I recognise. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think I, I recall seeing you before because this was my first time in Devon in ages. The last time I went was in was last summer. Where did you go last summer? Um Axminster and Linton. No, Linwood, sorry. And the time before maybe? Uh, um Axminster was in was towards the end of June and Linmouth was towards the beginning of May. Okay, been to Devon before that? And yes, to my first time in Devon was in was it in the Seaton, Sidmouth and Exeter in September 2020. Exeter in 2020 ringing bell. Is it? Yeah. For some reason. Oh right. Vlogs as well every now and again. Oh nice. In fact, I have actually been vlogging my whole trip today. Cool. 
So how have you found this trip so far? Excellent. Cool. I've discovered so many beauties of, of, of the southwest. The best, as I said, the best place I've visited was was, was Gregson, but I also loved the walk from Dawlish to Tamworth. Yeah, I've heard that that walk is quite nice, but I've never taken it. Uh, I might do one day. You should, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely worth a try there. Yeah. Oh my god, it feels like this bus goes on forever. I've been on, I've been on this for nearly two hours because they forget I got on it, it's now Yeah. But I think the early got on around Dawlish, Dawlish Warren. I know, when they, I know it's around the Saints Prison Dawlish Warrens when you were asking how long until, until Exeter. Yeah, <laughs> and we've got like three minutes apparently. Yeah. Oh, well, there's another 57. You must be kidding me. It's every, I mean, it's every 10, 15 minutes. So it's oh, a, that's it's, good. It's a frequent route. It's really good then. Well, so. I mean, I've got, I don't know at this time of the day, but at least between 9 and... Four or five in the afternoon is it is every fifteen minutes. Yeah. Although if you want to go to the how the houses, so you know Brixington. Oh yeah. If you want to go to Brixington, which is the end of the fifty seven, it's only half an hour. So it's fifteen minutes to Exmouth Town Centre and every thirty minutes to Brixington. That's pretty good. <clears throat> but yeah, how long does it take from Exeter to Exmouth then roughly? Um I'm not sure because I haven't done the 57 yet, but I would be assuming it'll probably be roughly around 40 to 50 minutes. Yeah. I'm gonna have to cut it close for time then. Mm. I think. Sorry? Mm -hmm. I might have to cut it a little bit close for time. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. How far is the... How far is Exeter Central from, from the bus station? Should, uh, should be, uh, I'm assuming, a 10 minute walk roughly? It's not too far, I think it's about 10 15 minutes. Oh, that's not bad then. Don't quote me on that though, uh, but because I my think trains are broken. My trains are half past seven. Oh, uh, yeah, you've got a bit of time, yeah. Yeah, that's good, thank you. And you're welcome. I actually remember this. I remember, the, I remember going to this part of Exeter. Oh yeah. I know that there's a prison in it, sir. I'm just trying to work out where it is. Is there? Yeah, I know it's somewhere. I don't know to be honest, it is a rather hard question. Although I do know, not really relevant, but I do know between Topsham and Exmouth there's a military site. Oh yeah. Limpstone Commander days. Oh yes, I know that place. It's even got a, rail a railway station as well. Yeah, it has. Although it is a request stop normally, so people have to request to stop there, which is kind of an interesting one. Well, you're supposed to be telling the, the conductor, the guard, or the ticket inspector or the train yeah. to get off there. If you want to get on there, you're just sort of supposed to pretend that, that, that the train is a bus. If you stick your hand out, you know, then the train can stop. Yeah. I mean that's that's how it's that's how that's from what I've heard because I haven't where, where we live we don't have any request stops. Yeah. Although interesting, interestingly, not far from where I live, we do have one Great Western Railway line though. Yeah. The Gatwick to Reading line that is. 
Did you say Gatwick to Reading? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's also the Great Western Railway, just like most trains here, here in Exeter. Yeah. This is it, because I'm pretty sure that should be the bus station. Yeah, it should be. I think it is. Yeah, we're at the bus station. That's perfect. Just across here. Up by the view cinema to left. That was a cool shot. Yes. Oh wow, they we did it. It looks so yeah, nice. They have redone it. it. It looks so nice. It's very open plan. Yeah. Well, that's the two routes filmed, which I'm happy about. I've also done the craft today, which was also quite good. Sweet. That'll be the Brixton to Newton Abbott bus, by the way. Brilliant.